Hey guys, Cristiano here from Insane Magic, and for today's trick, we shuffle the deck first, and then we ask the spectator to select any card they wish. Let's say they pick out this card. You can have a look, I'll have a look. And after that, I cut the deck in half, I place the spectator selected card in the middle, and I'll give it a few cuts, and also give it a few shuffle just to completely lose their card in the middle and finally finish off with a cut so hopefully the spectator selected card is completely lost in the deck so now we magicians uh, sometimes use luck for finding cards so let's see if my luck works so I'm guessing uh, yeah uh, this is your selected card Am I right? No, huh? Okay. So as you know, luck doesn't always help me. Uh, let's try again. Uh, is this your selected card? Hmm. No? Hmm. I see. In that case, I have to summon my voodoo powers now. So let me summon my voodoo powers. Okay. Okay, now what I'm doing... I'm taking a selected card, pulling it out of the deck, reversing it, and then pushing it back in there. You don't believe me? Okay, I'll show it to you. As you can see, one card is face up in the face down deck, and uh, if I'm not wrong, I hope this is your selected card, the Ten of Diamonds. That is the performance for this amazing trick. So this is the explanation for this trick. So for this trick, the spectator can shuffle the deck as much as they want. And then you ask the spectator to select any card. Let's say for this case, they select the 10 of hearts, okay? So now, you cut the deck in half, attempting to lose their card in the deck. So you cut the deck in half, and you place their selected card here. And then as you close the deck, you, uh, with your thumb, you hold the brake like this and do a double undercut. And you control the spectator's card to the top. You can use any method. I use a double undercut, it's more easier and faster. So. You just have to control the spectator's selected card to the top of the deck and then you can give some false shuffles like this to make it more convincing. I just use the Harry Lorraine style shuffle and I retain the spectator's card to the top. You can use any method, it doesn't matter. So after that you give your patter as you rely on luck to find some cards. So you randomly take out one card of the middle and you show them and ask them, is this their card? And as you do it, you simply hold a pinky break like this on top of the top card. So as you give the patter, and obviously the spectator will say, no, this is not their selected card. So once they say no, you pick their card and place the card on top of the, the card, which you hold the pinky break. And then you lift up these two cards as one. Okay, so then you turn around the deck and you ask them, is this their card? Obviously they'll say no, and then you, you, uh, you place the two cards like this, and then this is the situation with the spectator selected card sandwiched here. And now you say that you summon your voodoo parts, etc., etc., and you simply give the deck a cut like this, and the trick is done. You say you summon your voodoo powers, you snap your hand, and then you fan the deck, and the spectator's selected card will be sandwiched in between the deck. So that is the, that is the explanation for this trick. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, and I'll continue bringing you tricks like this in the future. Thank you.